Webull just made a big change and that change is called Webull Pay. For those who are not aware, this is now the new place where you're going to be able to trade, track, and hold your crypto if you've used and held your crypto on Webull in the past. This is a recent change that by the time you're watching this video, I believe all accounts should be. All accounts should be transferred over to Webull Pay. And so what happened was if you had your crypto held in your Webull portfolio, they've now built a secondary platform, if you will, uh, or a second app that you now will have to download and then be able to access, which is called Webull Pay. You've probably gotten emails already about this, especially if you're watching this video. So I want to answer a couple questions first, then we'll dive into the usability and how the app actually works and a mock trade, if you will. So yes, you no longer will be able to trade crypto on the traditional Webull brokerage app, but you don't need to do anything. Like there's nothing you get to do anything. You didn't have to send it anywhere. They automatically transfer you over to Webull Pay. When you download Webull Pay on the app store, you should be able to log in via your Webull account within seconds, and you should have access to your crypto holdings there. Formerly, the custodian of your cryptocurrency was Apex Crypto. That's now Backed, I believe. That's the company, Backed, B-A-K-K-T. And Webull Pay is just an affiliate of Webull Financial LLC, so it's under common control. And they're looking to expand what Webull Pay will have to offer going forward. So think of this right now. You're kind of thinking, okay, crypto on Webull Pay, you can almost see the foreshadowing, right? Apple Pay, Webull Pay, like think about where they could take this going forward. And so it, it seems like as of right now, there's cryptocurrency trading through Webull Pay, but that's going to expand later on, okay? So I have an account right here. I currently do not hold crypto on Webull or didn't hold it on Webull, so I want to do this as an example. I deposited $10. If you don't have any money here or you want to deposit funds into your account, you'll go to where it says show more. It's honestly a very simple app. Go to where it says show more. Here's where you'll now see your account number. You'll have access to adding a bank account. I have one there, which is covered up. You'll go in, confirm, add your bank account. I believe that takes a couple of minutes and then you're all good to go. It takes a couple of days for it to actually process. It's a couple of days later. And now I have a cash balance of $10. You can see your performance today's gain, unrealized, realized total gain, all that stuff under there as well. So for example, let's say I wanted to buy some Bitcoin right now. I would go under cryptocurrencies, select the cryptocurrency that I wanted to. In this case, it's probably going to be Bitcoin. Uh, there's a lot of, a lot here. So you can go scroll through. I believe these are all what Webull has now to offer. They've been expanding this out over the past couple of months, years now. So um, it's a decent list. It's not as small as it used to be when it started out. But if I want to go to Bitcoin, for example, click on Bitcoin, I can add price alerts, I can look at some charts, I can add candlestick charts, all that great stuff if I would like to. Go to the amount that I want. I have options for market orders, limit orders, or stop limit orders. And by the way, uh, see that order window? That order like little widget that popped up? That's very similar to what you'll see on the Webull platform as it is. I'm gonna go market order, click on next, confirm that buy, face ID, fully filled, we are in. Very similar to Webull's uh, past or we Webull's order screens in the past, just on a different app. So now I've got 10 bucks worth of Bitcoin. If we can go back to my account value, it's now worth $9.90. That'll fluctuate. We're down 10 cents on the day, but that's how it's done. If I were to go into my current positions of Bitcoin, here's where I have the option. Under my position, I can look more into depth. I can go back and sell it if I wanted to sell all a fourth, a half, whatever. Um, change it to limit orders, stop limits, all that stuff. But if we notice right now, we can't actually transfer this. There's no options given the current standpoint, given the current app we have right now, current capabilities to transfer. I'd imagine that's probably coming soon. This is something that other platforms have built out as of late. But right now it seems like Webull is trying to create this as their own place, their own platform where you can trade crypto, hold your crypto, and then eventually use that for payments and whatnot in the near future. Hope this video helped. Any questions, comments, leave them down below. I know it might not be the best of change for many people, but that's what it is. That's what we got in front of us. And so that's how you can use it. If you don't have a regular Webull account as of right now, they've got a current promotion where they're giving away a ton of fractional shares of free stocks and 5% APY on uninvested cash. Highly recommend you check out the links down below and sign up to Webull if you don't have an account, a regular brokerage account with them already. Tons of great sign-up bonuses to have through the summer. Thanks so much, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.